Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Elu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and data analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my uh, LeetCode SQL question solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description below. And I have also segregated the videos which are there in my channel into different playlists. Here I have created five which are namely easy, medium and hard for the difficulty type of the questions and the premium questions which are for, for only paid customers of lead code and I have combined all the premium, non-premium and all the type of questions into one single playlist which are there in the sequence order of the lead code platform. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. It is question number 1661, average time of process per minute. Let's see the question. Okay, it is asked in Facebook. Okay. Um, there is a table which is consisting of machine ID, process ID, activity type and timestamp. Okay. The, the table shows the user activity of a factory table. Okay, the combination of machine ID, process ID and activity type is the primary key for this table. Okay. Machine ID is the ID of the table. Processing ID is, okay. A single machine, how many times it can process it? It is the idea of the... Okay, got it. Now, what is the activity type? Either it is in the start position or the end position. There are only two different conditions. Okay. When it... If it started, when it started the timestamp. If it is ended, when it got ended, the timestamp. Okay. There is a factory that has several machines, each running the same number of processes. Write an SQL query to find the average time each machine takes to complete. Okay. The time take to complete is the end time stamp minus the start stamp. Okay. The average time is calculated with the total time to calculate every process on the machine divided by the number of processes that are running on. Okay. The resulting table should have the machine ID along with the average time processing. Okay. It should be a rounded up to three digits. Okay. Let's let me explain you first. See, there are, for example, here three machines 0, 1, 2. This machine ran two times, means it is processed 0 and 1. This machine also got processed two times, means it has run two times 0, 1. This also has run 0, 1. Okay. For the machine, this is machine, how many times it got processed? Process means some. this machine will process. Uh, means uh, let's say that there is a machine. Let's say that you are taking a Xerox. You are taking Xerox for first time, second time. Same for the machine. Taking the Xerox for the first time, second time. Second uh, machine also first time, second time. Let's say that you are starting that you are starting to take a Xerox. Start a time, and after that you will end it. Right? They have given timestamp for this one. Timestamp for this one. Timestamp for this one, timestamp for this one, timestamp for this one, timestamp for this one. Similarly, this is all the columns which they are given. If you see, all the 12 rows are for machine one. Imagine there are two things, each one will start and stop. Similarly, now what they are asking is let's say that uh, the time taken for machine zero, zero is what? the start minus end okay let's call it t1 time for similarly for machine means this one the difference of this one and this one is called t1 okay similarly for machine 0 machine 0 process 1 start and end is there right the difference of them let's call it t2 okay t2 similarly t3 t4 similarly t5 t6 these two are T3, T4, these two are T5, T6, okay. Now what they are saying, per each machine, what is the average? For example, per machine 0, there is process 1, process 2. 
process 1 there is some timing process 2 there is some time now what we need to do is for mission 1 we want t1 plus t2 by 2 or simply we can call it as average of all the process similarly for this one t3 plus t4 by 2 or here t5 plus t6 by 2 right this is what they required here now how we can do this is let's use a small trick As you can see, every row is a unique combination. As you see, 0, 0 start, there will be only one column, one row, 0, 0 end, okay, 0, 1 start, 0, 1 end. Now what we can do is, we can combine this table to this table such that we combine 0, 0 to this table, 0, 0 to, only let's take that, only start from this table instead of that. Let's take only start, start, start. You can do a multiple ways. I am telling you one way. Let's take only here end from this table. Okay. Let's combine these two tables such that machine ID equal to machine ID, process ID equal to process ID, and activity is equal to start activity is equal to n then we can can get in a single row mission id process id with the start and end time right similarly for the the second row will not be there because it is end similarly for 0 1 start 0 1 end because we are joining with mission id process id but start activity type in part 1 is start and activity type in part 2 is end similarly for this thing start and again for this one one end okay let's say for everything we have calculated what we are doing we are doing in a join such that machine id equal to machine id process id equal to process id start here and end here so that for each process and mentioning we can get the start and end and the respect to times time okay we have joined them now what we have to do, we need to calculate the difference between these two timestamps, okay? Let's call it some time 2, okay? Now after that what we will get? 0, 0, something, the difference between two timestamps of some, uh, let's call it the total time. Time 1, similarly, 0, 1 time 2, 1, 1 time 3, 1 1 time 4 sorry 1 uh, 1 0 time 4 1 1 time 4 similarly for 2 2 0 time 5 and 2 0 time 6 okay after that simple we will just group by this machining id column and we will do this grouping of uh, sorry average of these times so for 0 average will be t1 plus t2 by 2 1 average will be t3 plus t4 by 2 for this will be t5 by 2 let's write the code for that and i will show you how it will be okay from stable activity a inner join same table activity b okay such that how we are joining mission id equal to mission id process id equal to process id and activity type is start here activity type is uh, end here i will show it to you where a dot mission id equal to b dot mission id and a dot process id equal to b dot process id 
and in the left table see these are the two conditions we should match and from the left table we are taking only start right table we are taking only end okay a dot uh, activity equal to start and b dot activity equal to end okay let's select all the columns first of all uh what is it error sir incorrect sentence we are the keyword where where we have used where sorry it's not where it's not it's on sorry activity in a spelling mistake column name activity okay it should be called activity type okay here you can see the table which you can see right zero zero start zero point seven one two let me remove this okay which I said before for example this column will be merged with this column right sorry this row 0 0 start 0 7 1 2 0 0 start 0 0.712 0 0 end 1.520 0 0 end 1.520 same for 0 1 1 0 1 1 2 0 2 1 starts to similar table ends we have done here right now what we need to do is we don't need everything we just need what a dot mission id comma b dot uh, a dot process id if you see we don't need anything we need mission id process id and the time difference between both of them okay so time means positive negative will be there so doesn't matter you can keep like this uh, a dot timestamp minus b dot timestamp uh, let's call it something uh, difference okay let's run it again processes should be there yeah here you can see what I've done right okay we need to take absolute because uh, it will be a positive value only okay now what we got mission ID process ID and with respect to that uh, one minute yeah this is expected this is right mission id process id and the difference of timestamp between these things now what i said we need to group by mission id and we need to calculate the average of this one so i will keep this everything in subquery from table one what we need to do group by this t1 dot uh, let's call it something or you can directly write mission id only t1 dot mission id select t1 dot mission id uh, what is the name we need okay as mission id only mission id comma we need what average of difference average of difference as what processing time let's run it
okay it got accepted let's submit it okay it's not getting submitted let me see what is the order by sequence they've asked okay it can be ordered in anything okay but the processing time should be rounded off to three digits round comma three let's submit it yeah our solution got accepted thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your colleagues and your study partners who are doing this same thing and want to progress in their careers uh, just thank for watching uh, thank you for watching this video just be disciplined complete all the videos which are there in my playlist just practice it keep hustling keep growing keep achieving